you know, sometimes you see things in a picture and you don't realize how big they are. Well, I needed to, <laughs> I needed a chain fall hoist. So I looked on Craigslist and I saw this three ton and I, I've been in Harbor Freight and I've seen there's three tons. <laughs> so uh, I made the guy an offer. I got it for a hundred bucks. This is a uh, Cyclone. Tonawanda, New York, USA, three ton. Was this Chris Lamore CM Corp Model K? It's enormous. I would estimate it weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of 250 pounds. <laughs> so I went in the car. You know, I had no idea, and kind of did a little. I worked on this piece here a little. There's just a little dent now from it. Oops. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah. I'll be rehabbing this. I've I purchased a mill and the mill weighs 3,800 pounds and so that costs three to five hundred bucks to rent a forklift. So I purchased another Craigslist find. Some seven inch seven inch square tubing quarter inch thick it was two 31 foot pieces and I hacked them up and I will be building a gantry crane with this definitely gonna grind off this galvanized coating before I weld it but uh, yeah it's gonna have a uh, a 10 foot span so that I can fit it over top of the trailer and drop equipment on there. Although this trailer is not gonna, what I'm going to use because it's only a single axle and I can't support the weight of the machinery. But uh, I'll be borrowing a friend's car hauler. So yeah, I got this steel for 21 and a half cents a pound. So that's a little over scrap prices twice as much as scrap prices but at any rate yeah the crane's gonna go here I'm gonna build another extension on the front of the shop here I'm gonna come out you know 10 12 feet and it's gonna be the width of the shop so relatively small room but it's only temporary as temporary can be but whatever I'm gonna have to pour a concrete slab to support this mill because the mill is entirely too heavy to, to place inside the shop. And I'll probably also be pulling the lathe out of the shop and, and putting it here on the concrete floor so I can get it good and leveled up and sturdy. Because right now it bounces around when it runs. So, projects, projects, projects. That's why I had to get the uh, generator fixed. i can show you that. The generator's running great course I mean it allowed me to cut all these pieces up I don't have a torch <laughs> or a plasma cutter so I went after it I made five cuts five five or six cuts here and uh, I did that with uh, 16 inch cutoff wheels in the uh, four and a half inch grinder the guy thought I was a little crazy he didn't think I was gonna do it but I did it I needed the steel for 200 bucks to get all that, that's not bad. You know, that's 1,400 pounds of steel. So, yeah. And this is how I'm moving them in between the uh, dolly that's over there occupied with the with the chain fall and uh, another scrap mower that I've already melted the engine down from. That is uh, acting as a dolly for. Just put one end of the beam on here and the other end on the dolly and I can maneuver them in within reason so yes this is fun <laughs>